Hi Gemini, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Mivi and Buddy Advice on Facebook. This is your reading for the 14th, uh, 48th to the 14th of July and I've just got to explain some things in Dutch and then the video will be completely in English. Um, if you are new, welcome to the channel. Please click on the membership button and click on the bell to be notified. If you don't want to be notified, don't click on the bell, but please subscribe and then it will be saved in your library. Then you can find the channel much easier next time around. <coughs> Hi, lieve trailing. Uh, juli, dit is jullie lezing voor 8 juli tot 14 juli. En um, deze video is compleet in Engels. En als je geen Engels kan, dan wil ik graag een suggestie geven. Klik op de ondertiteling en dan kan je meegenieten. De maandelijkse video's die blijven wel in Nederlands en in Engels apart. En uh, de uh, theekamer ook de live chat. Dat is ook tweetalig. Zo so, kom het meemaken en uh, doe mee in de live chat. Ze noemen dat uh, de theekamer en de cyber family. Oké, okay, ik hoop dat je geniet van deze lezing. Um, right. Als je nieuw bent, welkom aan het kanaal. Het is een tweetalig kanaal en het wordt lid ongeveer hier alsjeblieft. En klik op de lidmaatschap knop en op de bel, dan word je genotificeerd. Wil je niet genotificeerd worden, klik dan niet op de bel, maar wel op de lidmaatschap knop. Dan, kan je, dan wordt het opgeslagen in je bibliotheek en dan kan je het altijd terugvinden makkelijker. Als je weer langskomt of zin hebt om uh, uh, weer naar de video's te kijken. Uh, zoals ik zei, de, de, de theekamer of de live chat sessies zijn ook tweetalig. En aan het eind van de maand, elke maand, krijgen jullie een nieuwe video in Nederlands. Voor de maandelijkse, maar niet meer in de wekelijkse. Oké, okay, let's get started. This is Monday, Wednesday, Friday and the weekend. On, uh, you've got all the cards, I've used three Lemon decks, but the ones uh, underneath are the clarification cards to the cards above. First of all, you have the coffin and you've got it double here. I didn't sort them out. If you look at Taurus in previous uh, um, videos, you see that a lot of the cards are, are the energy are coming back. The cards are coming back. So the energy is definitely very, very strong. On Monday, the energy is transformational because this is a coffin and that's a coffin. And that means an end to a face and a new beginning. So you are trans transforming from one face into another. And you've got a very good face starting because you have learned to defend yourself as you have the bear. The bear represents defending yourself and standing your ground. And there might be people that are jealous of you, around you, uh, could be just one person or more, um, because of how you can defend yourself, especially coming through an old face. And it might have been a pretty heavy face and how you've overcome all that and started a new and better face. And luck is on your side because the bear also brings luck with him. On Wednesday, you have the bear again. Again, see the double uh, energy here. So from Monday, Tuesday, going into Wednesday and Thursday, you have the bear. The energy does flow from one uh, into the other and sometimes during the whole week. Um, so you can defend yourself and that's the major card for today. And there might be a friend that is could be jealous, like I said, there could be more than one people, um, uh, person. Um, there could be somebody that's jealous of you, but there are friends. Uh, you might be meeting a new person that will become a friend, trustworthy and loyal. And again, luck, double luck on Wednesday. But be careful of these jealous people because they can be conniving, sly, horrible, analytic. Um, so, um, be, be warned, forewarned is forearmed, but perhaps you might make a friend at work and you have luck at work because you've got two cards that will stand by your side. 
um, perhaps you might have to be more precise at work um, because the fox has to work very hard for his living and you might have to cross your T's and dot your I's at work. In, in other words, you have to be careful, look for details, be more analytical and secure in your work. On Friday, you have the child. You might find out that you're pregnant or you might be hearing of a pregnancy. It could be definitely a new beginning. Um, also, be more playful like a child. Don't be too serious. By all means, be uh, very cautious at work with details and analysing things properly. Um, but you can also be too serious. And on Friday, it says, don't be too serious. You don't have to worry. Just be, um, what you call it, uh, cross your T's and dot your I's and, uh, and be calculating. By all means, do your si uh, work precisely. In other words, I couldn't think of the word, sorry. And you've got an anchor. So if you've got a question, am I pregnant? The answer is yes, most likely yes. Uh, it is, at this moment, it would be a yes. Okay. Uh, will the new beginning be great? Yes. Will this new friend friendship be true and great? Yes. It is safe to have a, that particular person as a friend if you met them on Wednesday. The anchor also means coming home to a safe haven and steadfastness. So this person is steadfast. You can build on this person. You can build an, on this new beginning. You're letting do it. I'm getting to here with this uh, brush. That's usually the whip and brush. Um, but in this case, this deck, it shows a brush. And I get to here, dirty, let dirty water pass your door, doorway. Um, in other words, the gutter runs outside your doorway. So let dirty water run away. Uh, there's a Dutch saying, but I'm getting to hear it in English. Let your dirty wa uh, let dirty water pass your door. All right. Don't take any notice of um, mean people, and it's lying next to the fox. So let dirty business or dirty gossip um, go by. Don't worry too much. It's their problem, especially with people that are jealous. Okay. Just let it flow, let it go with the flow. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we have the heart. You might be actually meeting your new love this week, and you might be head over heels in love with them. Or you might be doing something that you love or passionate about at the weekend, okay? But as I said, you might be meeting your new love because we've got the ring underneath there and you will receive news. This could also be official news. You might be getting married at the weekend. Who knows? I think most of you will know because usually weddings are planned. But for the same reason, you might get a proposal at the weekend and that could be the news. It could also, official, official news could be um, received at the weekend, okay? like a marriage certificate or a birth certificate because we've got birth here lying next near, near the ring. Okay, I hope you've liked the reading so far. Now let me shake the cards of the moon uh, goddess or the, uh, the, God the queen of the moon cards. Oops, they're all falling out. I'm taking out the one that sticks out the most and you have release. It's number 27 so that becomes a 9 so that's also at an end of a phase and a new beginning and that's quite um, profound since you've got the coffin. Okay and the child that's also a new beginning and let me see I will read from the book the extensive book uh, the extensive uh, description. 27. Waning Crescent, number 4. Release. Let it go. 
it is time to release anything that does not serve you Old negative habits do not engage you anymore as uh, the payoff is not enough. You are ready to make room for bigger, brighter and aligned things. Let your dirty water pass your door by. Okay? Perhaps not. that's not a good saying in English, but that's what my mum always used to say. Don't take notice of jealous people. Or negative people. The mantra that you can use is I freely release what I no longer need. I uh, freely release what I no longer really need. Sorry. There is a payoff if we decide to finally release something we no longer need. The payoff is uh, as individual as you are, but there will be a universal feeling of making space for something new. Okay, there's new, lots of new beginnings in your reading. The secret to effectively releasing what no longer serves you is in fact knowing that the payoff will indeed be worth it, which makes it super important to, to know what the positive payoff may be. For example, giving a habit such as smoking, which we know is detrimental to your body, in that it is cancer causing, among many other nasty things, has payoffs. What the most important payoff is for you may be different from someone else who is giving up the habit, but it needs to be clear to your mind, body and spirit. You might give up so that your body feels healthier generally or so that your children, your children, this is a child, hold on, and those around you aren't exposed to the smoke and the chemicals that you live longer or that all that money you are wasting on cigarettes could be used for something that is more in the line with what you really want, such as travel or a home, all of which are real payoffs for which it is worth releasing the habit. And this is a unit, love and marriage in a child, family. In magic, in particular, in spellcraft, the art of release after raising power is vital to its effectiveness. Should we re uh, raise power without sending it out to the universe or diets in a focus way? Or deities in a focus way? It remains stagnant or stuck. This can cause us to feel overwhelmed. So release. And you have to make an intention to set the release. Otherwise you will stay stuck. And you might feel overwhelmed. I hope you've liked this reading, uh, Gemini. I think it's really beautiful. Let go of the past. And letting go is this card and that card and that these cards as they are negative they, they have a negative side negative people jealous people sly people and malicious things things that you don't need anymore why sweep them away okay i hope you've liked this reading take care and please join me in the live sessions Please share this video with family and friends, acquaintances, and give me the thumbs up, then YouTube will know that this channel is great. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. God bless.